What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video, we're gonna check out some awesome battles submitted to the channel by a member of the community, Fuzzy Daddy 89 So shout out to him, thank you for sharing these battles with us. We have Trevenant, McCargo, and Knockdown. Now today's video is gonna be featuring the power of the fire snail, McCargo over there. It recently got Incinerate and Rock Tomb. So this thing is part of the meta, it's very strong, and you guys need to look out for it. This is in the Great League Remix Cup as well, just so that you guys know and let's go ahead and get right into the battles all right getting into the first battle here we have trevenant on the lead versus diggersby all right so kind of a tough lead matchup right here um, as they're both doing resisted damage with fast moves but their charge moves will be doing super effective right fire punch to trevenant seed bomb there to the diggersby so i imagine diggersby with fire punches yeah is going to pack a little bit bigger punch right there because of the defensive stats basically of Trevenant. So here comes the first seed bomb. It still does quite a bit of damage. Now they tried to catch it on the knockdown right there. You guys saw the swap click, but they're going to go ahead and shield this next fire punch. I would imagine we're going to see a sack swap now if they can get to it. So they're going to go ahead and throw one more seed bomb right here. Get the diggers be very low and then we might see that swap into knockdown. Let's see how this plays out. Yep, they are going to go ahead and swap into knockdown to catch the fire punch right here. This is still going to do neutral damage, but tanking it on a knockdown is much more ideal right there as it doesn't do too much damage. Now we do have Frostlass coming into this matchup right here. Frostlass can absolutely destroy the Noctowl, right? Powder Snow Avalanche. It's going to make quick work of it, and it does have two shields. So things aren't looking too good, but there is a Macargo in the back that could come in and potentially farm down. Now we do have a bit of lag right here, which is very unfortunate. This is not good whatsoever. And I guess they do get to another uh, sky attack right there. I am not sure what's happening, but the white ball of death is striking. And they do get two shields as well. So the Frostlass definitely over farmed far too much. Um, they probably should have just tried to get it out of there as quick as possible. But Avalanche makes quick work of Noctowl right there. We do see Trevenant come back in, trying to go for the Shadow Ball, but not able to get to it in time. Here comes the Shadow Ball. Actually, it's going to be a, a Avalanche, actually, obviously. Um, and they're going to go ahead and go for a Shadow Ball now. And they swapped into Diggersby to catch the Shadow Ball. That is a huge catch right there from the opponent. And we will see them try to go into Macargo. Yeah, they're going to go into Macargo to catch. There have been three charge moves that have been caught. Great swap now into Macargo to catch that Fire Punch. And we will see them farm down with Incinerate. Is Frostlass going to come back in? What's going to be in the back? It's going to be a Cresselia. So we will see them go for Rock Tomb first. This does neutral damage and it will lower the attack of the Cresselia, which is huge. But this is looking to be a good game as two overheats are going to be enough to take out both Cresselia and the Frostlass. But great swaps by both players here um, to catch those charge moves in order to waste the energy, which is huge. We do see another... Um, Overheat just being thrown right away. This is going to get that Cresselia out of there as quick as possible. And they are able to farm down, but we see the Frostlass come in in a swap into Trevenant right now to throw the Seed Bomb for neutral damage right here. Hopefully it is enough, and it is. Frostlass goes down, and Cresselia goes down into Shadow Claw, and that is going to be a good game. Very well played. Great first game right there. All right. Moving into the next one, we have Trevenant on the lead versus Grand Bull. All right, Charm Grand Bull is definitely something to not mess around with, and we will see them go for the Seed Bomb right away. This is going to do neutral damage to the Grand Bull, but let's see if Grand Bull decides to shield. Yeah, they are going to go ahead and shield, and we do see the Noctowl now swap in, but Charm is so devastating, especially from a Shadow Grand Bull. It is an absolute glass cannon of damage. They're going to go ahead and shield the Crunch as well, and we will see see them swap now into Dragalgy. So Sky Attack now coming through for neutral damage right here. They're definitely not going to be winning this mid game matchup considering um, the Dragon Tail damage. That's just going to be able to farm out Noctowl, but they are able to get to two Sky Attacks, which is huge. This might get that final shield from the opponent or get the Dragalgy extremely low. They get the final shield. That is huge. So uh, Macargo, um Endgame Sweep is uh, possible right now because all shields are down. 
They're going to go ahead and let this charge move go through as well. It is just going to be the Aqua Tail right there for resisted damage. And here comes another Aqua Tail. They're going to let that go as well. They are going to trust in the Macargo sweep with one shield. We do see a swap now into Macargo looking to farm down with Incinerate. It's gaining a ton of energy. They decide to swap into Granbull and Granbull is going to get farmed down with Incinerate. My goodness, what is in the back? Macargo is max 100 energy. Dragalge comes back back in so they have to shield the aqua tail obviously this rock slot or a uh, rock tomb though i should say will be enough damage to take it off but my goodness what is in the back they're gonna under farm as well right here does take it out final pokemon is a shadow victory bell so ladies and gentlemen macargo gets to the overheat right here here it comes boom one shots the shadow victory bell and that is going to be a good game very well played all right, <clears throat> moving into the next one, we have another Charmer. I saw it in the top right. We got Trevenant on the lead versus another Shadow Grand Bowl. So we saw what they did before. They like going for the Seed Bomb right away. Um, actually, they built up a little more, but they're going to go for the Seed Bomb basically right away, do that neutral damage, and we'll probably see them go straight into Knocked Out again. They do get the shield. Looking to stay in this time? No, they go into the Knocked Out right here, and when they do draw out a Frost Last, so this is a huge play now for them to be able to get to the Shadow Ball right here for super effective damage. This is what's fantastic. It's either going to like near one shot or get the final shield. It does get the final shield, so all shields are down, and there is a Macargo still in the back ready to rock and roll. They will let let this avalanche go through as well because Macargo can easily come in and farm this thing down to boom everything in the back. Here it comes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. You guys are in for a treat. Macargo hopefully can boom this whole back line. They do shield the Shadow Ball though, and they need to be very careful about farming down right here as the Grand Bull still has energy. Oh no, here comes another Shadow Ball. This is unfortunate. They're gonna have to shield. No, they let it go. It's the Shadow Ball. They survive though, and they can farm down. They are absolutely loaded on energy. One is in the back. Gramble, is it gonna come back in? It's going to be, I didn't see what it was. It was a pure ghost though, but it doesn't matter. Overheat is coming through everyone. This is gonna do so much neutral damage. Okay, I, <laughs> I overestimated that right there. <laughs> <laughs> that did way less than I thought it was going to do. Close combat takes out the Macargo, and then they're going to go ahead and come in with the Trevenant now. And they're going to have to basically near farm down um, as they need a Shadow Ball. Yeah, they can farm down. They need a Shadow Ball. All right. All right. So I messed you guys up on the Overheat Boom on the Cofagrigus, but I will not fail you on the Shadow Ball Boom right here. Here it comes from the Trevenant. Ladies and gentlemen, boom, takes out the Cofagrigus, and that is going to be a good game. Very well played. All right, moving into the next one, we got Trevenant on the lead versus Hitmontop. Very spicy Pokemon. Honestly, it's a fighter that has good moves. It's got Stone Edge and Close Combat, but it really just doesn't see a lot of action in the meta. We're going to go ahead and see a Seed Bomb now come through, though, from the Trevenant. Really just wanting to chunk the health as quickly as they can. Now they're in a situation where they can potentially farm down with Shadow Claw, especially if this is going to be a Stone Edge that they shield. They let it go. It's a Close Combat, actually, which is huge. That lowers the defense dramatically from Hitmontop, and he gets completely farmed down from the Trevenant right there. We do see Lickitung now come in. So we'll have to see what is going to be in the back, but Trevenant right here can at least do neutral damage with Seed Bombs, and they're going to go ahead and go into the Knocked Out now. We do see Hypno now come in. Okay, so Knocked Out. This is why Knocked Out got Shadow Ball and why it is going to be such a threat. Situations like this where a Psychic-type Pokemon or a Pokemon weak to Shadow Ball has to swap into it in order to take it out. Knocked Out can do so well. Pro um, plus... Thunder punches right here, even though they will do super effective damage. Honestly, Knocked Out is an absolute tank. Look at that. It can tank it with no problem, which means it's going to be able to get to another Shadow Ball. Oof. One fast move away right there, which is unfortunate. Will they shield? No, they'll let it go. Um, and we do see the Knocked Out. Yeah, Knocked Out does go down. Trevenant now can come back in, though. And it can get to a Shadow Ball in time. The Hypno, though, is looking to commit to the farm now. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see a second shield go up right here, which we do. They're going to go ahead and now go into Macargo. They don't want to get farmed down. And Macargo right here might need to shield, yeah, the Thunder Punch or the potential Shadow Ball. 
Let's see. It's going to be Thunder Punch right there. Needs to be shielded. And we do see the Lickitung come in. So they're going to go ahead and go for the Rock Tomb right here. Guaranteed neutral damage because of the no shields. Lowers the attack um, and sets them up for a longer fight with Incinerate. Um, farm down basically versus the Lickitung right here. So let's see if they decide to shield the Body Slam though. They're going to go ahead and let it go. Do oh, wow. Yeah, it doesn't do too much damage at all. Hello, typings. I know my typings. This is, yeah, this is looking really good for them. They might shield this one. No, they're just going to let this one go as well. That's perfectly fine. They can just farm down. And we are going to have another double charge move. Is the overheat going to do enough damage, though, um, to the Hypno? Hypno is quite bulky. Let's see how much it does. Here comes the overheat. Yeah, that, that booms it. Boom. Macargo, absolutely sweeping teams right now. All right, moving into the next battle, we have Trevenant on the lead versus Charizard right here. All right, so a very tough lead matchup. We will see them decide to stay, and nope, they're going to swap right out into Knockdown now. That was not a good matchup with the Fire Spin, um, and here comes the first charge move from Charizard. I wasn't counting right there. I looked away from the screen, but they're going to go ahead and shield the potential Blast Burn. No, it's just going to be a Dragon Claw. I thought that was a bit quick. All right, so Politoed coming in. This is a huge swap in for them as the Politoed might be the only answer to a Macargo. So if they can get this thing out of here, or at least get it low for Trevenant to be able to farm down, they are looking very good. Noctowl as well can spam these Sky Attacks extremely quickly, so it sets them up to really put pressure on those shields. So they've already gotten health and shields, and this is in a pretty good spot, especially if this is just Weather Ball and not a Blizzard right here. Yeah, it's just going to be Weather Balls. They are in a good spot with Trevenant to be able to farm down um, the Politoed as Politoed needs to throw all of its energy in order to take out the Noctowl before we do see the third Sky Attack come through. So this is going to be close right here. Yeah, it's got to throw all of its energy. That's a beautiful setup now for Trevenant to come in. And then we might just see the Macargo Endgame Sweep once again. Here comes the Trevenant now with the farm down. Politoed, we know is energy dry. And they swap into Charizard. So here comes Macargo. And it is looking very interesting right here. As Dragon Claw now going to be coming through for neutral damage. But can they land the Rock Tomb? That is the question. Incinerates as well are still absolutely chunking right here. So things are looking pretty good. They might be reading double water in the back as well. So we'll have to see how this plays out, but Trevenant with some of that energy and a shield has a good opportunity to sweep this team. Here comes the first Rock Tomb. Oh, no, Charizard goes down. See ya. Politoed coming back in, but has a Weather Ball ready to go. They're going to go ahead and shield. They're reading something in the back is weak to Macargo. Macargo has energy as well. Politoed gets farmed down. What is in the back? It's going to be a Ferrothorn. Here we go. They're going to go ahead and go for a Rock Tomb. They overloaded too much on energy right there, which is unfortunate. This Rock Tomb hopefully gets shielded. Yeah, it gets shielded. And they go ahead and swap into Trevenant now to throw the Shadow Ball. I think they did one too many fast moves right there on Macargo, which is unfortunate. But this is looking to be a good game. Trevenant, even though it faced off against a Charizard lead that was a very hard loss, it's still able to close this game out. Um, and resisting those moves as well. So good game right there to the opponent. All right. Moving into the next battle. We have Trevenant versus Whisk. Okay, this is a really good lead now this time. This is a nice lead. And we do see a swap now into Drapion. So we're going to go ahead and see that Macargo now come in. Hopefully... Nope, not hopefully. This Drapion has Aqua Tails right here. That was really quick. Uh, oh no, okay, that was a crunch. Well, to be fair, these battles are really sped up, but they're just going to go ahead and go for the Rock Tomb. This is what's great about the Macargo when it's in a matchup that it can do pretty well against. Rock Tomb allows it to absolutely dominate because the attack drop really affects the opponent right there. So Macargo is looking pretty good to probably fully farm down right here without needing to shield. Yeah, another crunch comes through. So no Aqua Tails. This is going to be very close when it comes to the Incinerates. They're going to go ahead and go for another Rock Tomb here. Look to force a shield from the opponent. As Noctowl can stu still do well against um, Whizcash. But they did sneak through a fast move. They're going to risk it right here. Was that Incinerate enough damage in order to take it out? Yes, it was. Macargo hangs on right there. And we will see Whizcash come back in. So Trevenant now locked in. And we do see um, a Zwilios now come in. So they're going to go ahead and build up to the Seed Bomb before swapping out. That way they have the energy ready for when they face off against Whizcash in the endgame. 
Dark Pulse here now for neutral damage on the Noctowl. Doesn't do too much damage. Noctowl being very tanky and spammy as well with these wing attacks and sky attacks. Here comes the first sky attack right here. The, um, the Zwilios does give up the shield and now it's going to be a race. Can they get to the sky attack in time? No, they cannot. They go down. That is unfortunate. They have to throw the seed bomb right here, but this is going to be resisted because of that dragon typing. So things are not looking good. Hopefully Trevenant can hang on, but this Zwilios Zwilios does have access to Dark Pulse. I wonder if going for the Shadow Ball would have been the better play. We won't know. White Ball of Death comes in. They swap into Whizcash. So they're going to have to load up on energy. Here comes the Seed Bomb. Is it going to be enough? Will Whizcash get to the Blizzard in time? Seed Bomb. One shots. Almost one shots. Oh no, it's going to be a race to the next charge move. Can the Trevenant get to it? Throw the Seed Bomb! Oh my goodness, they go for the Shadow Ball. Ladies, oh man, that was close. Seed Bomb would have done enough damage, but the Shadow Ball is an overkill. And Trevenant really closes that game out well. The opponent, I think, made a slight mistake right there, but that is going to be a good game. All right. Moving to the next one, we got Trevenant on the lead versus Drapion. Tough lead matchup right here. We're going to see that swap out, and we're going to see a Macargo actually coming. Oh, and a Trevenant swaps into the Macargo. This is a mistake, everyone. Macargo is going to burn this thing alive and rock tomb it to death. Here comes the first rock tomb. It gets no shielded as well, which means it's going to be able to farm down for a little bit more energy. And Trevenant, I wasn't counting there. It is going to be the Shadow Ball. It can hold on, though. That is perfectly fine. Wow, what a swap, and that might have been a misclick by the opponent, I imagine so. Otherwise, yeah, it definitely was a misclick. The Diggersby would have been a much better option. They're going to go ahead and go for the Overheat now. This is going to do quite a bit of neutral damage right here, but let's see what they decide to do. It lands. That's beautiful. They have a perfect setup now, so they can bring in the... Actually, they're going to come in with Trevenant right here. All right, let's see how this plays out. Charge Moon not coming through. It's going to be Fire Punch, obviously. They got two loaded. I'm going to be honest. I forgot what the lead was. Someone in chat help me. Someone in um in the YouTube comments help me what that lead was. I've shoutcasted so many of these battles today. Oh, it was the Drapion. Okay, that makes sense. Yep, so Knockdown now is going to come in um, and just go for Sky Attacks right here. Drapion is obviously going to be spamming Crunches, uh, most likely, hoping to apply the debuff. And it's pretty smart to no-shield the first Crunch, as Crunch has the chance to lower um, your defenses. So you want to shield the later Crunches, as if you do get debuffed, um, you're going to need that health. Just like that, that defense drop right there, they still have one more shield to stop the next Crunch which is going to be close as Drapion is extremely spammy and it has two shields. So I imagine Drapion might actually be able to take this one just because of how oppressive the Poison Sting energy gain is with the crunch damage um, right here and the debuffs that we're seeing as well. So they only got one debuff, but they are able to get to one more sky attack. It's going to be up to Trevenant to try to close this game out, but I don't know if it has the energy or health to do so. We're going to see a swap. They go into the Diggersby as well at the same time. And here comes the Seed Bomb. This is going to do super effective damage and barely not take it out. And they will be able to farm down, but uh, Drapion can farm down as well. And that is looking to be a good game. Very well played. So a tough last game right there. But really great showcase of this team. That was honestly a lot of fun to watch. Trevenant, Macargo, and Noctowl. Utilizing three relatively new Pokemon. Macargo and Noctowl obviously very new for Season 10. With those move updates and Trevenant from the Halloween event. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And like always, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.